Logan Paul is an interesting person on the WP roster. In this video, I'm going to tell you the truth about Logan Paul and his transition to WB because coming from a YouTube background, coming from a boxing background, he has made quite the impact on a company that he has only been part of just for so many years, right? He initially came in, WrestleMania 37, he was part of a Kevin Owens match. The following year, he teamed up with the Miz to take on Rey Mysterio and Dominant Mysterio, and he was very impressive. He was the latest celebrity to make the transition into wrestling. He was the latest guy to make the jump. And you either think highly of Logan Paul for the success that he has had in his life, or you simply don't like him. There is really no middle ground. But then he signed a contract with WB, and he's worked a handful of matches. In fact, he worked nine matches on premium live events before making his television or house show debut. He did so on a recent episode of SmackDown when he beat The Miz to advance to the Men's Elimination Chamber match. In fact, he holds the United States Championship right now after beating Rey Mysterio at Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia in late 2023. So when I talk about Logan Paul, when you see Logan Paul on television, this is the truth about Logan Paul, which is this dude is hands down the best person to make the transition from a celebrity standpoint to WB. He's also a superstar. And I feel like in WB, because they want to call all of their wrestlers superstars, I feel like that term gets overused because there is levels to this game. And Logan Paul is head and shoulders over some of the guys and gals on the main roster. Not only does he get better week in, week out on television with his promo skills. He also gets better every single time that he's in the squared circle. Every single time he works a match, he gets a little bit better because Logan Paul, from an athletic standpoint, well, he simply can do anything and everything inside of the ring. What he was lacking earlier in his career was the psychology of the match, slowing things down, being able to read the audience see where they need to go. Do you need to do cutoffs? Do you need to do, you know, rallies? The little things. He has shown that he is able to do that. I thought the Roman Reigns match in Saudi Arabia, I thought that was on point. Now, I understand in recent matches, yes, they've got a little repetitive, right? But Roman Reigns has the same issue with outside interference, right? If, if we're looking at Roman Reigns, we're looking at the bloodline outside interference. If we're looking at Logan Paul, well, it's some of the members of his crew, right? That, that needs to be shined down a little bit. But when it comes to Logan Paul, he has made a very, very successful transition to the pro wrestling game. 